So, what a glorious day it is, and perfect day for getting on with painting. So, I thought I'd come up here and crack on with getting the dormer windows sorted on the back of the chateau. Now, we've done these about three years ago, and they were just a quick coat of paint just to obviously protect them, really. But obviously, it's been three years now, and this side gets really bad weather, so they're needing a bit of a uplift, really. So I'd come out while the scaffolding's up, give them a lick of paint just to freshen them up and get all the flaky paint off. And yeah, just making them look good again. But while I'm doing this, Paula's had the same idea and she started on the front gates. So last year she came over and she gave them a base coat of a rust beater paint. And now the weather's perfect, she decided to start getting the undercoat on. So yeah. Front gates are finally getting a makeover and finally getting back to the original colour. So once they've all been painted, we'll have a little look, see if we want to put any gold pieces either there or anywhere. But I'm sure we will. And yeah, I'll crack on now. But it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful weather today. Um, just looking out over the French countryside and being up here and working really. So I will crack on now. Well, that's the first coat done on the dormers and they're looking brilliant already. You can see them up there. I've just been working on them too. And then once they're done, we can move the scaffolding over to get the final one done. And they just look so much fresher and cleaner again now. Obviously, they have been there for three, going on four years now, so they did need a bit of a refresh. 
to match them with the front ones as well. Um, but yeah, so I'll leave those dry and then hopefully, because it's such a nice day, I'll be able to get another coat on later on this evening and then if the weather's nice tomorrow as well, I'll be able to do another coat tomorrow, which is brilliant. So while they're drying and Paula's still cracking on with the gates, I'm going to go down the old driveway and carry on down there, tidying that up and getting that finished. Yeah, crack on down there. But it's just amazing, so good to be outside and just getting so much work done really. Obviously with the land and once these little bits of jobs are done, then we can turn our attention to the walled garden and start getting back on this and getting this tidy before it turns into a full jungle with this weather. So I'm going to get down there now and crack on the driveway.
another fantastic day and so many jobs ticked off the list so I've managed to get the Dommel windows all sanded, sorted and painted which I've been wanting to do for so long because they're just looking a bit nasty and dirty we've got the rest of the drive done and this is just unreal how much space we've got here now As you can see it's twice the size now width wise because we've cleared all of the the overgrowth from the sides of it and all of the trees that have self-seeded we've took those out so it gives room for the, the actual nice trees really and you can see them properly and what we've done right the way along on both sides is we've took out all the old barbed wire so when the farm has been in here using the land he's obviously put all barbed wire up and it's just awful stuff it's not something that we want here at Lalacelle we have loads of beautiful wildlife so we have deer running between the fields and obviously we've got the dogs so we want to get rid of all of the barbed wire that we physically can just because it's it's not a nice thing it's not pretty and it's it's dangerous so we've stripped all of that out all down the drive now so we haven't got any of that and it looks so much better for it as well and like i said just open it all up now so we've got the big tree behind me here which this was the tree that was planted when the chateau first got built so it's brilliant having that and we've cleared a space around it and we're going to look at getting a nice um, picnic bench just to sit down the bottom here so when people come for a walk they can just sit down and just have a nice spot to sit really but yeah it's been a massive amount of work getting this cleared but it's been so worth it and it's been so long overdue really to, to get it done and now when you're down there you can see the shadow right the way down here and when you're at the chateau you can see the gates right the way down there which is just brilliant and as you would have seen paula's been busy with the gates so she's got the first coat of um white primer on the new front entrance gates now and just getting that one coat on there you can just see how like magnificent they're going to look really and it's just going to draw you into the chateau and that's only one coat of the white on at the minute so i think she's got the actual top coats to go on next now and that's where we'll start seeing them like really sort of pop and then after that it's the long job of doing all of the railings around the sides so i think we're going to look at see if we can get someone in to sandblast them and get them sorted just so it's obviously not too much work to do and then we can just go along and paint them and the same with the entrance gates that we've just tidied up we'll look at seeing if we can get someone to sandblast them as well so yeah that's it for today like i said i think we've got a massive amount done but yeah like i said all of the barbed wire is here in the trailer you can just see the amount that we've got it's just unreal and it's awful to work with so yeah hope you enjoyed today's video and check us out in the next one because god knows what we'll be up to while the weather's nice thanks so much for watching see you soon bye if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on patreon where you'll be part of our journey receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.